This is David Simpson for this afternoon fishing on the Osworth Canal. Don't look at the camera, watch your line and don't lose the fish when they come his way. Nice to see that David did catch a nice carp somewhere in the region of £10. And uh, I did believe I was recording it, but unfortunately the cord wasn't working at the time. So sadly David, we will have to catch another one if you want that recording. Anyway, we will wait now and see what happens. David has been catching fish across by the lily pond there. So it's a quite a successful day. I just popped over, which is only five minutes drive from our home to the canal to see David showing off with his pool. Uh, and it's now hooked into another fish. We'll see what he's got this time. He's uh, got his pole right down, so someone's uh, really taking a bait. This fishing is new to me as I am a fly fishing angler, so this course fishing is somewhat different to my technique, so no doubt I'm learning something today. But fishing is a nice pastime, relaxing, especially when it's uh, a dappled sky and the sun's coming through and it's warm. So David's managed to keep the fish on this time and uh, He's spraying it now, haven't seen what it is. Have you seen the fish yet, David? Do you know what it is? It's a carp. Yes, I gathered it might be a carp because obviously it's uh, playing a bit hard. So hopefully we will have a recording of the carp this time. Are yet to surface. As I said previously, I think if I had a piece of corn with a hook in it in my mouth, I'd try to get away. But uh, the, the carp doesn't realise that when it's uh, pulled in and landed in a net, it will be released back into the water. If it only knew that, it'd come back in quicker than it is doing now. No sign of it breaking water yet. I do have to watch my own footing as the bank is just there and uh, if I'm concentrating on the fish, one false step and I will end up in the briny myself, which I don't want to do. It's a nice size one, David. Keep me going. Sorry? I don't know if it's foul, foul hooks, because it's... Uh, it is possible you can hook them in the tail, then it does make it a bit more awkward trying to pull them back in. The way it's fighting, it's, it's... I don't think it's hooked in its mouth. Right. Well, I know in fly fishing, often a fish will come up to take it, realise it's uh, something dangerous and whip away, and in doing so, ends up getting hooked somewhere else on its body. But hopefully that's not the case here. But it certainly doesn't want to come in. I see, I don't think it's a carp. That could be wrong.
Well, it is actually, and I think it is, as David said, it's been false hooked, looks like it's got caught on its tail, and hence the reason the time it's taken to draw it in. So, rather than let this video run out any longer, I'll cut it off and restart again.